Really? That's awesome. I was going to start this video literally as the song changed to a song called Make It Rain. And it's fucking pouring. That's great. All right, what's up, dudes? <laughs> this is Noel on PC. I got a good feeling about today's video. I got a really good feeling about today's video. Synchronicities like this don't just happen for no reason. So yes, we are continuing City Skylines. We did uh, some development last time. What did we do? We, we pushed south, I think. We finally are in the green money-wise. So we kind of pushed a little bit of building south. Uh, we're just basically gonna start growing these outward, continue the growth pattern, and just sort of see what happens. Yeah, let's check. How are road, how's traffic? How are roads doing? Oh, we got a little bit of congestion here. A wee bit of congestion. This would probably be a good time to use the traffic mod. I mean, it says, it says it's high traffic. It really doesn't look like it, does it? Like traffic is moving really well. But what I could do is things like, um, what is it, switch traffic light? There we go, now it's just stop signs. No, it's not even stop signs, it's just yields. There, it's just yields basically. So we've got a, a, a New Delhi style intersection now. Basically, if your car fits, take the hole, right? This usually either alleviates the red or just moves the red down one street. Like yeah, now it's basically just down here. Uh, let's just put that back the way it was. Lights, lights, check. Okay. Well, let's get out of there. Uh, let's continue our growth. Do we have enough electricity and water for growth? We do not have enough sewage. This is going to be an expensive build, actually. Right, we've got the money. I'm gonna build sewage treatment literally as far away from the city as possible. pause because <laughs> I'm gonna have to move this guy and they will be without sewage for a moment their poops gonna back up all right Preemptively make some growth here. Basically some room to grow, right? But what I'm trying to do is just figure out where this new pipe is going to connect in this existing grid. I think it's going to be right here. Just like that. And then a little bend. A little bend is okay. There we go. Beautiful. Those need power. Oh, I had a, uh, I had a thing here, didn't I? think that's going to be enough. Five megawatts? Actually, maybe. Four, five, five it is. I will take it. All right, that looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, play. Let's just check. Sewage treatment should jump up as soon as that one is not black anymore. There we go. Boom. All right, doubled. So water is good. Sewage is good. Electricity is still a little poor. I don't suppose I could make another dam down here. I mean, that looks pretty flowy, right? Like, kind of like this is what I was thinking. Another 80 megawatts. Um, 64. Nintendo 64 watts. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, I hear you. So it looks like about 80. I think 80 is the most we're going to get out of this, right? Huh, 30. Fuck you. Oh, 96. I saw it. 96. 96. We're taking 96. It's cheap, too. Like 80,000. Boink. Diggity. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> that was convenient. It's basically right there. All right, so we got some flooding already, but the pump should kick in in a second here and fix that. There goes the flooding. It's making power. Let's just keep an eye on it for a second. Let's do a little road work here. There we go. We could actually make like a, a what's it called? Like a Hoover Dam-esque kind of thing here, like for tourists, you know? The bitches love tourist destinations. Yeah. Cool windy road that kind of goes along the shore there. Oh, what's this? I don't even know the elevation step. Oh, gotcha. Okay. There we go. Awesome. No one's ever going to take it, right? Because the way these pathfinding things work is these cars are going to take the path of least resistance. So there's literally no reason to go over here. No one's ever going to drive this route just for fun. Unless I made it a tourist destination, but still, it, it looks cool, right? I mean, that's, that's how they would do it in real life, right? Put roads over it, put a toll booth on it, charge people to drive over it. All right. We are hemorrhaging people. Which is really weird. So let's really quickly, I'm gonna pause and try and get some jobs. But if we make jobs, if we make some Steve Jobs, people will show up. If you build it, they will come. Okay, suppose I could just do this. Let's do this, maybe something like this. We need. Let's just build just a just a shit ton. We really don't need much in the way of residential, but I'm gonna prepare for the fact that now that we're creating jobs, because we're true Americans, we're making America great again. I have a feeling like they're just gonna be like, we need more people. More people! I always try and do is avoid doing this, creating a ton of intersections on the same road. Like what you want to do is kind of mix it up a little bit, usually. Oh shit. Oh poop. Oh good. Nice. It's very nice. Oh, clean. money. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is great. All right, let's do some light. There we go. Just a little bit of residential growth. The thing with residential is like people will love to move into a house over an apartment. I think it, you know, it increases land value. It increases happiness. I think people would just rather live in their own house as opposed to an apartment building. So we're still hemorrhaging people, which is really weird. So let's do let's do a little tax break to try and encourage some growth. Just one percent across the board is pretty drastic. Two percent on office. Okay. Are we hemorrhaging anything here? We do not need that kind of power funding. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. See, so yeah, we're spending like six thousand dollars a week on power upkeep. Let's check it. All right, so we're making 160, 170-ish. Yeah, that's good, it's good for now. Why, what? No, 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 get fucked. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The supply exceeds the demand and you're gonna tell me that you guys don't have power? Quit being dickheads. No, you don't get to do that. You do not get to do that. There, you good? You guys good now? Fucking idiots. Morons. I should rename this town Moronville. All right, but people are coming in. The tax break. The tax break helped. 
still have nothing here. I can't afford any of this stuff yet. If I did like any one of these, it would probably bankrupt my town. Um, moderately reduces electricity consumption. Let's see how moderate. Electricity consumption. 140. 140. It's down to 122. It's not really that good. Took it down like, what, 16 megawatts? Just asking people to turn their lights. And it fucking hemorrhaged all my money. Yeah, no, that is stupid. Stupid. It needs to be it needs to be more. If you're gonna take a few thousand dollars a week from me, it looks like it took about two thousand dollars a week. Did it take three thousand dollars a week? Did it take four thousand dollars a week? Did it take forty five hundred a week? Did it take five thousand dollars a week? It took that what? That took a little over five thousand dollars a week and gave me like a, what, like an 8% reduction in my power consumption? You're fucked. You are fucked. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. These people have been pooing in buckets for like weeks. I'm so sorry. I'm an awful mayor. I'm an awful, awful mayor. All right, there we go. We got coverage as far as the eye can see. We're making 6,000 a week. That's really good. We got really good income. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. We got 112 up there. And 80 to 96 here. 96. Right on. Making good power. And it's clean power. That's the best, the best part, is that we're making clean power. What do we got here? We got good power. We got good water. We got shitty garbage. Let's build some more garbage. One here, one here. One. Oh, <laughs> right. They're expensive. I don't like putting incinerators or landfills around houses. They hate that. But what I'll probably do is, like, maybe right here at some point, plop a couple down. Same thing over here. Right, so they're sort of separated. They'll be completely isolated, so that stench and smell and smoke won't sort of encroach too far into the residential area. It'll still service them, but it won't, like, really displease them. It's funny, I took taxes down, and a huge surge of people came in. Went up like 2,000 people. And that actually led to making good money. So that let that be a lesson. High taxes don't necessarily equate to like a really good source of income. High taxes can just push people away. Oh, I see what we gotta do here. Let's do something like this. Do something like this. Ooh, that's expensive. That is a big road. That is a big, big road. Looks good over there. I'll just keep carbon copying things over here. Like I said earlier, I don't like to put too many intersections on busy roads or the same length of road, but I'm kind of ignoring my own advice right now. Like this. Right, this kind of thing. Where you drive like a block and then you have to stop. You have to drive a block and stop. Drive a block and stop. It can cause a little bit of an issue. Luckily, these small roads don't have lights. Okay, so we have industrial need. There's a demand for it. So we can do some of that. <clears throat> have a little bit of demand for blue. I wish office fell under blue. I don't think it does. I think it's like its own unique uh, demand that we don't actually even see. Missed. There we go. Do a little spattering of office there. What is that? What is that? 
Is that a tree stopping me from building there? Are you kidding? What is that? What is that? Show me your true nature. What are you? Oh, it's just a hill. Right, okay. Roger. Eh, octopus. Octopusy. Go nuts, donuts. <laughs> What's this? Hey, show me that sign. Show me your sign. On the... I can't read that. Fall in dental. I don't know. Burned bean coffee? All right, that's, that actually sounds like a real coffee shop, actually. The burned bean. Yakisoba. Tasty noodles. What they should have done is just like licensed out real shit. You know, like Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, McDonald's. Just sold right out. Fish and fish, fish stick factory. Plastic mold. Wait, what? Frank's fish stick factory is called Plastim Mold. That is terrifying. Terrifying. Sheer. Sheer fear. Okay, we need schools fuggin' galore. Let's finally put. We're gonna blow a huge bank. We're gonna put down an, a uni. Capacity is 4,500. That's like half the town. And there's only 75 people <laughs> eligible. <laughs> but an educated workforce is a rich workforce. Right? Something that the sort of American market has yet to realize. That if you give your workforce a free education, they will pay you back tenfold in taxation. It's a proven fact. A lot of the European nations do it. And it works wonders. Yeah, I definitely need more elementary schools, which is pathetic, because again, look how many I have. And there's really not that many apartment buildings. Like, how many kids are in these fucking apartment buildings? That you need, like, nine of them, and I'm still not even, like, close to covering my eligibility. I'm going to put another one, like, literally back to back. There we go. And it's across the street from one. Look at this. Literally three elementary schools within a block. That's awful. That is awful. Um, could do some buses. I could. We could save up 30 grand. And we could plop a couple of routes, at least on the, along the main sections. I think a good idea here... No, I want to see under... There we go. I just Indiaed those lights underneath there. So basically, you can't see it, but it is a, just a drastic free-for-all. Okay. There we go. Yeah, look at those little busy bees go. They're basically, if, they, if you've got a hole, take it. That'll hopefully alleviate this bullshit back here. This just colossal fucking mess. Um... Here's what I should do. I should see if I can upgrade this to a... Of course I can't. Fuck you. I hate that. I'm trying to make this a, a like a one-way. Two-lane one-way. The irony is like 90% of these cars are turning off here. Oh, that's annoying. I can do like a two-lane there and a two-lane there. So it alleviates a little bit of congestion because they can filter into two lanes. But it's weird that I can't upgrade this. I'm going to destroy it. No, game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is that better? I can't tell. I need to see traffic back up a little bit. We might have fixed it. Just by changing those lights, we might have fixed it. Oh, I forgot I had a coffee here. Shit. Isn't that the worst? You like pour yourself a hot coffee, you take like a few sips, you put it down, you start doing something. 
And then you realize like half an hour later that you have a coffee there and now it's Luke fucking warm. This is the worst. You can tell by the foot traffic, I need a bus system like yesterday. Like months ago. So let's do that. Let's make a quick bus system. Delicious. Can a bus system just start on a highway? Fuck, that would've been awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I could just do like, right, so something like this. Probably should make it a one way. There's absolutely no sense in anyone needing to turn around here. Perfect. And then I could do like, uh, I want to destroy as little as possible, obviously, right? I don't want to super affect people. Yeah, that's cool. And it's on the highway. So like they come out, you know, they'll come out of this building, they'll go right, obviously. And they have an option right away to just dip down in here and either go right, left, turn around, go back the way they came. That's a really, it seems like a good spot. It seems like a good spot. We'll see how it goes in theory. I can always move it. You know, once you make roots, it's all good. All right, bus. I'm gonna start with this main route because people are really, really pushing up and down this main route. Aw, oh, shit though. Because I'm gonna grow like soon, probably this way. That's already at the end. What I should do is almost prepare for growth, right? It'll save me a little bit of hassle. There we go. So we are prepared for growth. Basically, I can make a route, a bus route, that goes pretty much right down there. Again, we're not going to build anything over here, and this is going to eat just a little bit of our tax revenue. But it's going to future-proof us. Oh, I'm snap to, there we go. Very nice. Sorry. Fuck. I hate doing that. You know, like mom and pop small businesses. Just trying to, you know, make a make ends meet, make a living. And I come along, big fucking developer that doesn't care about their feelings, and just <laughs> they're <laughs> like their small business away. Generations had made that calzone shop a success. And I come along and I destroy it in like 30 seconds. Countless hours of blood, sweat, and tears by Immigrants just happy to pay their taxes. And I come along, just fuck their day up. I'm an awful person. I'm basically Trump. Okay, we're gonna continue. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. So that'll sort of identify the bus routes. Alright, that did not cost much. And we are future proof. What I'm gonna do, I think, is have the bus. Yeah, the bus system just run the length of this road and then I'll do some ups and downs and use transfer stops. Yes, if I do that, I am gonna need a little more. There we go, we need the same thing over here, this thing. Oh, nope. I'm not, I'm not um, I don't have OCD, but it's one of those things where my my 13-year-old self would never let me do that. Get away with it. Nothing is to be built half-assed. Measure 19 times and then cut once. Right? Isn't that how the saying goes? Correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. So I don't know 
what else to do there. Um, let's just quickly keep building up. Like I said earlier, this is a colossal waste of tax money. You do not want to do this. I'm making 6,500 a week. So I'm, I've got a good income, right? So I can afford to do this because I'm now going to be paying the taxes on these empty roads, right? Just because you've built a road, it doesn't mean that's the end of the game. You have to pay a tax, basically. All right, we don't need this little giblet. double-double. The old Tim Hortons double-double. Oh, that was perfect. I do like two blocks and then one and then two blocks and then one, two blocks and then one. It seems to be an efficient way to do the uh, these main avenues, these main roads. Because as I always say, you don't want to interrupt a main avenue like this with too many side streets because every one of those side streets is intersection and busy roads fucking hate intersections. Why do you need power? Can you guys seriously fuck off with your power demand? This is so weird. Like, I'm making so much power. It's insane. Look at that. It was it was like 20... My electricity production was like 250, and I only needed 180. But these assholes are like, we don't have power! Not enough electricity. I beg to differ. I beg to fucking... Fellas, look at this. Sir, I'm just gonna go door to door. I'm just gonna go door to door. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go door to door. Where does it start? Where does it start, you fucking assholes? Hey, ding dong. Hey, hey. What am I doing? Ding dong. I'd like to. Sh I'd like to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, electricity. Electricity. Oh shit! What did I just do? Nothing. Okay, that was lightning. Whew. Sir, I'd like to talk to you about your electricity use. I feel like you might be uh, leaving lights on at night. You should probably just go fuck off, because this this piece of paperwork from the electricity department says that we are making 265 megawatts. The city is only using 186. Fucking 186. This is so fucking annoying. What do I do? <laughs> like, what do I do? Is it a bug? Oh, I might have heard you guys screaming that. I might have heard you guys screaming that, that this thing isn't actually connected. Just because I'm making it doesn't mean it's being delivered. <laughs> just for a split second, it was like, what would chat say? And I literally heard myself saying, you're probably just doing it wrong, idiot. And then it was like, oh, that's what chat would say. If I was doing it wrong, can I go underground with this shit? How come I can go up but not down? Look at this stupid shit. Look at this stupid shit. Big giant pillars. Weak. That was great. What if I did, like, a really low pass over the water? That looks much more realistic, actually. <laughs> oh, thank fucking god. You... You know what? You know what I should do? <laughs> you know what I should do? Bing bong! Uh, sir, I'm with the electricity department. I'd just like to apologize on half of, uh, uh BC Hydro. My apologies. Uh, here's a voucher for next month's electricity bill. Um, I, I hope you accept. I hope you accept our apologies. My, my deepest apologies. I have to go now. I have a few stops to make. Ding dong. <laughs> this is the electricity company. Uh, let me be the first to apologize. Let me start my three-part apology by saying, "You are saints and scholars. You are beautiful people. Very forgiving. I hope." <laughs> All right. Fug. All right, so we got some good growth. Things are happening. We've got good demand. We've got great income. I could probably even lower the tax burden of some of these people. Like, let's get 13s across the board. Boink. Boink. There we go. That should get rid of some of the uh, tax issues. Yeah, no one, no one is complaining about taxes anymore. Thank fucking God. Let's do a road check. Road check. Road check. Okay, we fixed this issue by doing basically the scramble here. So that's alleviated. We just have to alleviate now some of that foot traffic burden. Um, 
bus stops. Where should we start? Where should we start? How about right? Like right on fucking Main Street. Alright, bus stop. I'm literally gonna put them like all over the place. You don't want like too many, because there does there there becomes a little tiny bit of a congestion issue. But you want like a lot of them. Uh should I put them like right across the street from each other? I guess so, eh? It'll make them easier to identify. Can't make a stop in there. But I can just on the other side. Alright, we're just gonna keep going down the way here. Oh yeah, I should probably. Oh, that's that's rough. It's gonna be real rough. Shoot. <laughs> I should almost just put a little loop there. <laughs> just a little road that just does a little tight circle. Just for buses. Cause yeah, doing any kind of a detour like this through a neighborhood is just gonna add a big traffic problem to that neighborhood. I'm almost tempted to do like this. Actually, even like this would almost be better. Let's do it. I'm just gonna do that. Gonna do that. Gonna do that. And back. Alright. Good job, folks. Good job. Thanks, fam. Thanks, fam. Brilliant. Alright, there's our first route. Our first, our first route. We're gonna save because things are going swimmingly. We're making a shit ton of money. Like so much so I could easily put almost whatever we want except like a space elevator. I hear those are expensive. Is that a bus? No, that was a truck. Any buses? Oh, bus, bus, oh Jesus Christ. Oh my God, slow down, Jesus. Oh, it's because we're in three times fast forward. It's like, why is he driving like a fucking maniac? driving like a fucking lunatic. <laughs> Look at him. Urge. 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 Oh, that's great. This is how some bus drivers actually drive. I'm sure a lot of you take the bus and you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's always that one guy that you get on the bus and you're like, fuck, it's this guy. The dude that like pulses the brake. You know that guy? You know the guy that doesn't steadily press the brake down, but it's like jerk, 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 stop. I fucking hate those guys. The ones that forget they're driving a bus and will punch it off a green light and everyone is constantly kind of like all the standers are doing that thing where they kind of waver towards the back of the bus and then try and get their balance again, you know? Fuck those guys, too. Oh, drivers that, like, think they're God. Oh, by the way, if you're a bus driver, don't comment. I don't care. Bus drivers that think they're God and they're like, oh, the bus is full and there's clearly enough room for more people. <laughs> Fuck those guys. All right, we need, I think we need more bus, buses. 48 per week. Like, there's... Look at this. Look at this fucking mess. There should not be, like... Can I get down there? There should not be a bajillion people standing at a bus stop. How come I can't... Really doesn't give me the best views options here. I need, like, a street view. I need to be able to get right down there. Educated teen. Resides at. High school student at. And is studying. That's very cool. A lot of detail in this game. Uh, so if we jack... If we fucking jack daytime bus funding, is that going to spit out a bunch of buses? That did nothing. Hello? Hello? I'm just going to hang out on that route for a second. Oh, that's noisy. Well, I guess there is more buses now. Good. Where's that stop that was super jam-packed with people? I guess it doesn't matter, we'll just pick one. Oh my god. Fellas. God damn. <laughs> the 
the police sirens and stuff are way louder than everything else they shouldn't be. I get that, like, in real life they have to be louder, so in the game it would make sense that they are louder so that the little sims could hear them. The problem is I don't want to fucking hear them. Because no matter where you are on the map, there's always an ambulance, fire truck, or police car around. So you're constantly hearing, It's annoying. We're at 20,000 people already. Right on, this city is taking off. With that said, save often, swear less. Right, folks? Right, folks. We're going to do some growth. What I should do, actually, is do city planning, industrial space building. No. Oh, I, I thought there was a high-tech option for industrial. Like, to build, like, computer nerd places instead of... That's just doubling production. And I don't necessarily want more production. Because none of these uh, commercial places really have the, Hey, we don't have anything to sell, dingus. So we're clearly making, like, way more stuff than we could ever sell. We might need, like, a commercial thing over here. A, l a little commercial enterprise. Let's just worry about industrial for now. Oh, just got my cell phone alert that it's garbage day. Sorry, 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 I... That's what, sorry, sorry, that's what happens when I click away. That's what happens when I click away. Sorry, I just have to click away just for two seconds. 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 That was way more than two seconds, Noel. You're a filthy fucking liar. Don't lie, Noel. Fucking liar. Alright, things are things are growing, right? Things are kind of happening over here. Um, oh, wow. You know what I need? I desperately need a digital clock in here. One of those just cheap little, you know, LCD things so there's no TikTok sound. And and just cheap, like a little, you know, four inch long thing right above my monitor so I know how much time has passed. It feels like this has been maybe a 20 minute video. I think we're approaching on like 50 fucking minutes. So I have to call this video here, otherwise you guys never watch them. So we're going to stop. We're going to pick up right where we left off on the next video right from here. Uh, guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you comment. I hope you share. I hope you like. I hope you subscribe. Playlists, shares, whatever the fuck that stuff is. I hope you guys do all that stuff because it means a lot to me. It always means a lot to hear that I'm doing my job right. So guys, thank you so much for viewing. I love you all. Until next time, peace, love, cheers.